This is the chapter 2.3 which is on cantilevers and we're going to look at an example of calculating deflections for a cantilever with backspan and uh, a point load at the tip. So just going through the calculations um, what we're going to do is look at the cantilever the backspan with a point load. Just to recap we've got this cantilever here with a backspan of 10 meters, a point load of 10 kilonewtons and a cantilever span of 2.5 meters. 2.5 meters. And we're going to do first of all a calculation for the rotation part and then a calculation for the pure cantilever. And when we the two are additive so we add them together to get the total deflection at the tip. So the first thing to note is that we're looking, when we look at the rotation, we're looking at the rotation of that span L, which is between the two supports. This is very important to remember. And the rotation is due to the bending moment, which is M, which is PL2. P times L2, which is a cantilever span. And now we come to the calculation. So looking at this again, we're going to look at the rotation, the deflection due to the rotation of the backspan, which is given by, the rotation is given by ML over 3EI. And we're looking, remember, at that rotation there. And M, of course, is P times L2, which is a cantilever span. And then we're going to look at the cantilever deflection, which is a pure cantilever calculation with cantilever span. It's got a backspan of 10 meters, a cantilever span of 2.5 meters, a point load of 10 kilonewtons, and an EI value, which is typical sort of steel EI value, 13.5 times 10 to the 12. So first of all, for the rotation, and looking at units of millimetres and newtons, we've got 10,000 newtons, which is P, times L, which is 10,000 millimetres, times L2, 2,500 millimetres, divided by 3, times, and then EI, 13.5 to the 12. And that comes to a value in radians of 6.17 times 10 to the minus 3, and that's radians. And then we can calculate the deflection from that, which is simply the rotation times the cantilever span. So we'll assign that as the deflection due to rotation. And that is equal to 6.17 times 10 to the 3, which is the rotation. E minus 3 times the cantilever span, 2,500 in millimetres. And that gives us a value, 15.4 millimetres. And now we look at the cantilever, pure cantilever deflection, which is additive to give you the total. We'll assign that as deflection C. And this is equal to P, which is 10,000 newtons, times L2 cubed, 2,500 cubed, divided by 3, divided by EI, 13.5 to the 12. And that comes to a value of 3.9 millimetres. 3.9. So we then go to add these two together. 15.4 due to the rotation. Add it to the 3.9 millimeters. And that gives us a total of 19.3 millimeters. Now look at 19.3 and with the pure cantilever deflection. Just as an illustration, the total deflection is, is approximately five times the pure 
cantilever deflection, which shows us the influence of the backspan.